you doing YouTube? So um, today I want to talk about these uh, prices that are going up on Supertech oil. A couple months ago I made a video about the synthetic blend that Supertech came out with. I can't remember the exact name of that engine oil, but it was a, their, their new synthetic blend oil because they're discontinuing their conventional oil. And as I was making that video, I noticed the price of the full synthetic because I was inside Walmart making that video. And I saw that it had increased from like $17.50 to like $19 and some change. And so that video now, and, and that spare that moment, the topic switched from this new synthetic blend that's coming out to, holy smoke, the uh, full synthetic prices are, are just as high as a branded oil. And so today, I feel like after a certain amount of months has passed, um, within one year, Supertech goes from $17.50 to now it looks like it's stabilized at 20 now this is for the full synthetic, uh, $21.48. And so uh, the issue here is, and, and as I stated in that video that I did a couple months ago, this defeats the purpose of a store brand oil. Um, because I'm not going to grab this super tech oil at $21.48. No way, no how. I don't buy it anymore. I've switched over to um, Quaker State. You know, so you got twenty one forty eight cents right there, right, for that oil. I go to Quaker State now. Full synthetic. I'm gonna pay twenty two ninety seven, a little over a dollar more. Okay, there's no way that I'm gonna go to Supertech. Now the question is, you know, has inflation killed Supertech? I think it did, because I don't see, you're walking into Walmart and you're gonna see Quaker stay at 22 bucks, Supertech at $21. Come on, that's a no brainer, right? Now, you know that uh, Supertech came out with that 20,000 mile oil, right? Let's see if we can find it in here. And this is even worse. So their their twenty thousand mile oil is twenty six bucks eighteen cents, right? So you're like, oh, okay, well that must be a good price, right? I mean, this is a twenty thousand mile oil. Let's see, let's see the competitor right here, right? Let's go to Quaker State's twenty thousand mile oil. Let's see how much. So that was twenty six dollars and eighteen cents. Supertech, remember that. Let's find Quaker State's. Uh, They should have okay. So now, so Quaker State right here, they have a ultra, ultra protection, twenty thousand miles. Three dollars cheaper, twenty three dollars and ninety eight cents. Are you gonna pick up the SuperTech twenty thousand mile formula? Or are you gonna pick this one up? Right, so. Super tech, it, you got to be under, you got to be Quaker State. And your dollar under on the normal full synthetic, but when it's the 20,000 mile, you're, you're $3 over. That defeats the purpose of a store brand oil. Um, I think Super Tech, what they need to do is the full synthetic, they got to drop that down to 20 bucks. I mean, I, I mean to to you know, I you know, you know we. I wish you could go back to seventeen fifty, but I think those days are gone. I think those days are gone. I don't, I don't see anything going back to those days. But to be fair, maybe nineteen twenty bucks, and then move your your twenty thousand mile uh, oil to twenty one dollars. Uh, now, now the oil filters are probably, you know, they're a dollar more. They're like at $3. Uh, they, they seem to be the best bang for the buck right now. Uh, let me see. Oil filter. Auto and tires. 
And yeah, so right now their oil filter is at $3.48 for the 10,000 mile formula, uh, for, excuse me, the 10,000 mile uh, protection. You know, that's a dollar more. That's still, that's still a very good price uh, for this type of market. I, I wish it was $2.97 like it used to be, um, but this is uh, for what's going on and it is fair, I guess. I guess. I don't agree with the inflation at all. But uh, for what's going on, it seems like their, their oil filters is still the, a good bang for the buck, right? So, you know, I, I, I don't know. Let's see if there's another oil that's other than Quaker State that's right there with Supertech right now. Um, Edge is at 28 bucks. And, and again, these are Walmart prices. So Walmart generally has the best prices on the market for oil. Uh, but here you go, you got a Pennzoil full synthetic for $23.98, for $23.98. You know, within reach of the Walmart 21 bucks. You know, 21.48. You know, so, you know, the branded oil now at Walmart is what people are going to grab. This is the best thing that could have happened to them was that super tech oils uh, went up. Pennzoil's up there, $23, Pennzoil. Anybody else? Halvaline's probably very good oil, 26 bucks. Um, but yeah, you're, you're looking at and what kind of pins oil was that? That's their platinum. And it's full synthetic. Anybody else? No, that's it for right now. All right, you know, just, uh, you know, give me your take on this, you know. What do you think? I, I think I see super tech soon. Oil wise, I'm not speaking for their transmission oil, the gear oil, but their engine oil, I, I think it's going to go bye bye uh, if they keep it up with this or if it survives because of its reputation over the years and people are just they're still trusting it. How long would that last? You know, because the people that are trusting it, they're going to get older and new generations going to come up. And if we still have gasoline engines. Uh, you know, I don't know how long that lasts. That may last for 10 years, maybe more. All right.